Uh, hey, good morning. My name is Manoj Acharya. Uh, today we will be learning how to install libraries into Google Colab Notebook for my uh, So, uh, most of the data scientists and, uh, uh, and uh, machine learning engineers, uh, they might be using the Google Colab and they might have seen a potential issue. Uh, whenever like we install some uh, libraries into the Google Colab, so once the session is out, let's say we close the Google Colab today and uh, tomorrow we want to resume our work back. But whenever we will uh, we'll try to run the code, it will throw exception like uh, module not found there. Uh, so what, basically what we need to do, we need to reinstall all the libraries again. So to um, so this session, uh, like in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to avoid the, that kind of a situation. So for example, let's say I want to run this elastic short. Let's say if I'm running, we'll see we'll get an error. Uh, let's wait for some time. Okay, so module not found error. So what we need to do? So first of first of all, we have to install it. Okay, so it has been successfully installed, and now if I run this code, it will not throw any exception. Right? That is a working code, right? Okay, so what we can do, let's say if we go here and manage session, I'm terminating this session. Okay, the session has been terminated. Now I'll try to be running it. Okay. So, how to get rid of uh, this kind of uh, uh, situation? So, one workaround is there. Even I mean, you can uh, uh, like uh, uh, if you Google, you will get it, uh, get that solution. Uh, uh, just I'm like uh, demonstrating it to your video uh, so that like you can uh, follow it, uh, follow it uh, quickly. So, let's say uh, in so. Uh, Okay, one, one. First of all, I have to write a bunch of code. Uh, let me explain. Uh, this is like I'm importing few packages, OS and the system. Then from Google Colab, import uh, drive. And then we have to, uh, this is one of the important steps, that is drive.mount uh, content.drive. So once this uh, block of code got executed, it will ask you to sign in to your uh, Google uh, account and then you have to you sign it. So once you sign in, then uh, like uh, it will the uh, uh, control will go to the next uh, next line like let's say pull up. Okay, so what we'll do? Uh, uh, let's run it. Let's run it. Then we'll be able to see. Let me comment this one. And let run it. <coughs> so it is actually asking me permit this notebook to access the Google Drive files. This is my account. So let me allow it. Okay. Okay. So basically, uh, let me explain you the code. So on first uh, line, like we are importing the OSS. Then second line, we are uh, like importing the Google Colab Drive. 
then drive dot mount once this block of code is executed then you will see uh, a drive has been created here that's the same part that the drive contains the drive mind drive right so it's mind drive then collab notebooks and we have a path called collab notebook so basically i'm taking till this for uh, this point and after the time adding this collab path okay so once you add that one so here uh, like you might have remembered uh, the, that a sim, sim link is basically the symbol link so basically what happens like whenever we run the google collab uh, it runs in a virtual directory so physically you won't be finding that uh, location so this is the way how to link that virtual link to the uh, current path so this sim link represents uh, uh, that function so once that one so what we can do like again uh, in system path we are adding that one inside that one and then pip install in the target we are passing that uh, uh, polar path and then we are passing the library that needs to be installed so in that way so what will happen so this uh, library will be directly installed to your google drive so whenever like you next time you would be opening the uh, uh, this collab file next time right so directly it will be uh, available at, uh, since it is there in the google drive so directly it will be available you don't have to do anything so what we can do now we can just uh, Comment this block of code, okay? That's no more required. Uh, let's uh, close it. I can go to the my Google Drive. Let me load from there. Okay. So it keep connecting, let's put initialize, everything is completed, connected. Okay. So now I'll run it again. Right? It is run perfectly without any exception. So one more thing we can just uh, verify. Let's say do go to the runtime, manage sessions, kill the session. Okay, the session has been filled. Uh, let's load this. I can run from the Google Drive. Let it connect. Run again. Let it run. Let's see.
Okay, so now you can see uh, that uh, we ran this one. It took a little bit of time, but uh, after that it has been finally uh, like uh, there are no exception. So in that way, so you can install like n number of uh, uh, libraries into your uh, Google Drive and you can run directly from there. Uh, just remember uh, like uh, this piece of code should be uh, at the top and then your uh, import library should be placed under that. So it should be like this. So this is how it is going to work perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my channels, then you can uh, like subscribe it. And if you like my, like my uh, video, then you can give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.